morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm just going to sort of go over the Maw and everything I've learned about it, what you can do with it, why you should do it, and most importantly, how to get the best reputation, especially with Blizzard Hot fixing all the things to get out of um, your eye of the jailer. So... It was sort of announced that once you get five, you're pretty much going to instantly die. You don't instantly die. It builds up, and then you will just totally take damage and damage and damage until you die, and you cannot heal in any way. So it's kind of a pain to be in here in the mall once you're level five. But essentially, everything you do in the mall, whether you're doing quests, killing rares, killing just normal mobs, you will have to, uh, you'll incur the Jailer's Wrath. So at each stage, it gets worse and worse. Um, at the first stage, the eyes will then attack you. At the second stage, towers will bombard you. At the third stage, assassins will spawn when you enter combat with anything, and they can be kind of annoying, and they deal a lot of damage to you, so you gotta kill those. And then at stage four, um... Uh, Valkyrie, I guess. They're not Valkyrie, but, like, the, uh, bash the, like, dark angels will come up from the sky and they will abduct you. So you gotta watch out for that and then they will drag you all the way to the sky till they drop you and it will kill you if you don't kill them quick enough. Now, what you can do with this reputation, so right now I'm cordial with the Venari. So this is the person. This is essentially like Revere. So we can look at all the rewards that you can get. Now, on this character, I've gotten many of the rewards, so you only will see these because a lot of them are permanent Torghast and Ma improvements. And I would highly recommend you spend your Stygia on buying those as much as you can. Um, as you can see, once I like get up here, here's an example of possibility matrix. Um, this would be once I am exalted, which is going to be appreciative. Um, with her, but it says come to a better understanding of infinite possibilities of anima expanding your selection of powers within Torghast You will always see at least two choices when using an anima horde So that's just something that gives you more choices when you're going into Torghast And if you plan on doing uh, twisted corridors anything like that, it's really really fun um, a big Two big uh, sort of upgrades is this Unbound uh, Reality Fragment. This will discover a random one. So you can spend your Stygia on buying these. If you're looking for a conduit, say you switch your specs, something like that, you can get a huge reward. This only re requires Cordial. And so like if I had four, 300 more Stygia, I could just buy this and it'd be really, really good. There's also some Legendaries that you can buy. Um, I could buy this one, Third Eye of the Jailer. I mean, it doesn't really seem that amazing right now. Um, but, you know, I could buy that eventually just to sort of add it to the collection and stuff like that um but just tons of upgrades for the ma and torghast like this teleporter right here will teleport me to the beast wardens or all the way to the uh tri uh trimaculum which can be really really nice um for that but really it's just um one of the biggest things that you can get is this so for 7.2k uh and uh stygia you can add a socket to helms, necks, bracers, belts, or rings, which is really, really awesome. Say, like, you have a really good piece of gear, like this belt right now, I guess, is pretty good. It's 207. I could add a socket to it, which would give me 16 more stat. And that's pretty freaking nice and awesome. But let us that's pretty much a general overview of the rewards. So let's get down to the nitty-gritty, sort of the best way to maximize your rep here in the Maw. Um, so one thing I would highly recommend you turn war, more, war mode off unless you're PvPing because there will be a ton of people just sitting right here trying to kill you. As you saw, it made me invisible. They sort of added that feature when I'm leaving there. It's pretty nice. Um, but a big thing is there's going to be daily quests. And when you get to Tentative, you will unlock Perdition's Hold. And once you are um, one above Tentative, I forget what that uh, appreciative or um, ambivalent, I think is what it is, um, you will unlock the Beast Warden. So those are the two rep points you sort of want to grind for, um, as well as make sure every week to do your Wrath of the Jailer. And then if you have the Beast Warden things, make sure you do the Soul Eater thing. Now, right here is one of the daily quests. So these daily quests, um, this is sort of, they will give you a lot of reputation and usually Stygia, which is pretty nice. However, they do not give you enough rep to make it really worth doing them until the end. So what I like to do every single day is get my, um, I will go and do these quests as much as possible, but I will not complete them. So like right here, I'm going to get 11 
uh, blazing ingots, and then that way, um, when we hit, hit level 5 of the Jailer, while you can't get reputation or Stygia from killing things, you can get a ton of reputation from just doing the quests um, still. Like, it doesn't block that. So what you want to do is you want to run around, and you want to almost complete every single daily here, here, and uh, over in Perdition's Hold, or the Beast Wardens, whichever you want. Get them to, like, one thing left to do, and then you want to go ahead and then complete them, and then turn them in once you are, like, either close to four or about to hit five. Because, as you can see, I haven't killed anything, my Eye of the Jailer has not gone up, and we are just looting these blazing ingots right now. So that is, that's the way to do it right now, because they did, you used to be able to reset your... Um, reputation by, um, or not your reputation, your stacks of the Jailer by just logging off or teleporting to Orbos if you're a mage, something like that. But they patch that to where your stacks stay the same, so you'd be at 10 stacks, so it's a bit harder. Now I'm going to show you something here um, that, like, this is a rare, so I'm going to kill this and it's going to incur some uh, threat reputation. However, killing this rare right here, opposed to killing a different one, this one is only going to give me 40 rep, and I do believe they give the same, if not close to the same, um, in, uh, jailer, like, debuff for killing them. So you don't want to kill all the 40s, you want to look for the big rare ones that you require a group, because they will give you 100. So, like, we incurred a little bit right there, and that's 40 reputation. So what I want to do now is is go and since we're at 11 blazing ingots i'm gonna go over here and start this quest looking for any of these um 100 or even 80 80 is definitely worth it too um reputation things the 40s are just not worth it because you incur more and the general rule is they will actually be rare spawns and have the rare um silver dragon icon as well as they will have um they will be usually level 62. And if you're just reading your general chat, people will be like, map, pin, location, rare, let's come kill it. Um, so, like, he's doing the uh, convention of pain or loss or sin or something like that. And doing each of those will actually give you this really cool item, uh, Dominion, uh, Domination's Calling, which will take you to uh, here and you can kill a rare every day that's worth 100 if you so choose to. So, like, this guy right here, he's only worth 40. So, I'm not going to kill him because there's no reason to do that. And this is truly just min-maxing your reputation here in the Maw. Um, the rewards are pretty great. If you have quests, do those quests because um, they unlock a lot of story things, stuff with your um, Covenant, and just they're definitely worth doing. Um, and so there's like it, be careful when you're in the mall like if you die you lose your stygia so depending on your class and your kit and what you can do um you know like i like to just run here use like my mirror images stuff like that to sort of de-aggro them and then once i get up here to accept this quest sort of see what it is i believe i have to pick up ebon knight's uh rune blades um so i'm just gonna go do that right now and then we will get eight of the we'll get seven out of eight um for stuff like this this quest i believe you do turn in up here and you don't go yeah like this quest is going to turn in right here so it can be a bit obnoxious but there is a teleporter right here a chaotic riftstone and so like since i have the rep my path is going to be i will go back to venari's refuge and then i will take the teleporter to the triaculum and then the triaculum i will take the chaotic riftstone back to here when i'm at jailer five because i want to do it as fast as possible in order to turn in these quests now this is just something that you know i like to do because these quests are worth doing as long as you don't incur reputation um like significant reputation uh hits to your um eye because if you're min maxing the reputation you can get exalted really really quickly with the venari um but that's pretty much it guys um i'll i would recommend that you do pretty much each of these events are weekly like wrath of the jailer and that do that they give good rep good stygia they do incur a full eye so on tuesday if you're doing them just be weary of that um, but they are worth it for the gear, Stygia, and reputation things that they can drop. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And I really hope this guide helps you uh, get the maximum reputation you can with Venari, especially after those hot fixes. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye, guys. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.